Oh boy. Welcome everyone to TacosAndGeeks.com. Justin here and today we are going to be reviewing the highly anticipated conclusion of the Michael Myers Laurie Strode saga. Halloween ends starring the one and only and the best final girl ever in my opinion Jamie Lee Curtis and as always I give you a brief synopsis. You can just hear how I am right now that I'm probably not too happy with this film. But as always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. Four years after her last encounter with mass killer Michael Myers, Lori Strode is living with her granddaughter and trying to finish her memoirs. Myers hasn't been seen since, and Lori finally decides to liberate herself from rage and fear and embrace life. However, when a young man named Corey stands accused of mur murdering a boy that he was babysitting, it ignites a cascade of violence and terror that forces Lori to confront the evil that she can't control. Let me tell you, it'll be much easier for me. Um, this will be spoiler free, by the way. It will be much easier for me to tell you what I liked about the film. The cinematography is good. The aesthetics is great. Um, the music is awesome. It's John Carpenter, of course. The music is awesome. Jamie Lee Curtis gives another great performance as Lori Strode. I've seen other reviewers saying this was her best performance. I honestly, I think it was either the original or 2018 or hell, even H2O will be her top three, the th top three performances as Lori Strode. Me personally, I'm a fan of the original. And then I will go with 2018 because they did a better job of cross examinationing that trauma, that theme of trauma that this whole series um this whole series trilogy has been based on is that theme of trauma now while we had halloween 2018 focusing on the theme of trauma 2018 um excuse me halloween kills was more focused on that aftermath and you know how evil consumes and that theme is more explored here in halloween ends where consumption of evil and the effects of Michael Myers and examining that trauma and for the most part in certain scenes in certain ways it does a good job so kudos to that I, I will say they did Lori's arc in examination trauma pretty well now and I will say the cinematography is good I had no problem with Al Allison as well um, I, I wish they would have explored her mother's death a little bit more um, examining her trauma a little bit more, but they put her in this like little romance with this new character, Corey, who acting wise did a great job, but just from a character standpoint, totally unnecessary. He takes a huge chunk of the film. This is the end of a saga. This is the end of a trilogy. This is the end of supposedly supposed to be the end of a franchise, but we all know they're going to reboot it a couple of years later or do another continuation of something and you sideline michael myers you sideline Lori. well Lori has presence here but it's not like it's not like she's the main focal point corey is the main focal point because they want to do this examination of evil and consumption and and and, and it was just uh, it's hard to do it. It's hard to tell you what's going to happen. You know, it's hard to do it without spoiling it, so I can't. But Corey is a character that takes a lot of screen time. And what they do with Corey is where the divisiveness comes into play. So if you have been on Reddit, if you heard, if you follow movies and try to find leaks and things like that, the leaks are mostly true. Um, the leaks are mostly true, uh, especially with this Corey character. And for me, I think it's disappointing. Because you, this would have worked if they introduced Corey in Halloween Kills, or even in the original, even in um 2018's Halloween, where we could have build up to something, and there is really no build up. They just say, "Hey, here's this character, here's this quick backstory. We need you guys to fear something. We need you guys to feel something for this guy, and you know that's it." And I, I just didn't like, I did not like the direction. I get where they were going when it comes to thematically, where they were going with this theme about how Michael and just the consumption of evil and everything else can affect anyone. I get that. But 
do some build up towards it. I mean, you had three movies here. If you would have just had did something like, in my theory, if you would have just had something like half of Halloween Kills and then a little bit of the beginning of this, and then you can have your payoff and end, it would have been a lot more of a cohesive trilogy. This is a, a story wise is a mess. There, there, there are too much subplots, too much threads, too much cooks in the kitchen, too much messages that they want to try to get across of examination of trauma and, and Michael Myers and things like that. And it just doesn't have it has too many voices instead of just one voice, which should have just been Lori's voice or Allison's voice, a focal point voice. But you're going with this new character that. First of all, the thing with introducing a new character at the end of a trilogy or end of a saga is that audience doesn't have much time to connect with this character unless you're going to do like a three hour movie, which you're not going to do a three hour Halloween movie to really develop and flesh this guy out. There, there, there was nothing really here for me to like sink my teeth into when it comes to the Corey character. And I think that was just like the acting, the acting guy, the acting was great, but it was just the character wise. It just it felt flat on his ass. Now, that being said, a lot of you probably want to know, but is the final battle even worth it? Mm, uh, uh, you know, the hype of the final battle will leave you disappointed too. And I will say this, for me personally, it was not intense. I wasn't on the edge of my seat. It kind of felt like it was 10 minutes and I was like, oh, that's, that's it. Like... You know the intensity of 2018, how that that whole hunt of Michael hunting and or Laurie hunting and that whole battle went and, 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 and just like there was this sense of dread. I didn't get anything like this. That's the final battle that you're seeing right there. I didn't get anything from that. It was just like they fought, something happens, one of them dies, that's it. I'm not going to tell you who, one of them dies and that's it. And you go, oh. Okay, and then they do something, another scene, a couple more scenes, and the movie ends. It's a very disappointing film. It's a very disappointing film, and I do not know why they went the direction they went with. I get what they were trying to do, but if you were going to go this route, you should have introduced this new character in previous films so we know who he is, not just give us a 20 minute opening, opening scene and, and, and spending so much time with Allison and just trying to you know have this little romance angle and building him up only for us to just switch back in and just go oh wait a minute it's a halloween movie we need michael myers back <laughs> you know it, it, it's just it's a mess uh very disappointing i will say if there's any comparison of a trilogy i will say rise of skywalker you probably hear that in a lot of reviews but it does it does have that rise of skywalker disappointing feel with it and where you introduce these new characters new characters don't really get their payoff or it, it, it just it was just a mess even the final battle for me just wasn't it wasn't doing it for me so halloween ends is the end and a disappointing end um if you saw the movie comment below let me know and i try to keep this as spoiler free as possible hopefully i did and uh, as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching this on TacosTheGeeks.com. Continue to check out our New York Comic Con coverage. We have a lot of interviews. I have a lot more reviews coming your way. Um, and this is it. Later days. This is just a disappointing end to a one of the classic franchises. Um, biggest horror franchises. One of the biggest horror franchises of all time. Just very disappointed. Some of you might like it. If you did like it, please let me know why. Um, and we'll discuss it in the comment section. Later days, I'm out.